Hey, what's up? It is Brayden back with another Tutorial Tuesday and wanting to talk to you today about how I sort of pack my gear and what sort of gear I carry on a shoot. So come on and check it out. Heading out of town for a destination wedding. I'm actually going to Saudi Arabia for a shoot, which is gonna be really cool. But I wanted to just walk through a little bit of my setup for travel. Not all of it, but at least gear, and then what I'm packing for film, how I'm doing that. So, um, but yeah, but basically here's my gear. And this is my usual travel bag, which I'm gonna have to condense because international travel can't, one, hold this weight. You can only do 18 pounds, and this weighs about 70 pounds. And so I'm gonna have to rearrange, but typically I have two contacts cameras, and one of them I typically have a digital back on it, which is a phase one IQ 250, which I love. Um, but then I'm mostly shooting film with that. So I've got two bodies for this. I usually wear those on my hips. I'll show you that holster in a sec. Uh, usually I have an assistant carrying this guy around. This is my Rolleiflex. And this is shoot square format, be considered six by six. And I'm typically keeping, keeping black and white film in here. I love Kodak. This is. A 35 millimeter version, but I love the Kodak Tri-X and 120 for this camera, but that's fun. And then besides that, this is a land camera Polaroid. I'm only shooting this a couple frames a day. And this is just a really fun one. And then I have two 35 millimeter film bodies. This is the EOS 1V. I would have two of these, but I already had one of these, which is the EOS 1N. And you can find these on Craigslist, probably eBay for like less than 300 bucks, less than, I mean, around 100 bucks to 200 bucks for the EOS 1N. And these are my go-to. I keep black and white. I have a little white tab on there to keep track of my black and white film. And then I keep color film in here. And I always keep on everything in the right spot. So the right side of my body is always color film. The left side of my body is black and white or digital. And that's just so I know when I'm reaching for something, what I'm getting. So I don't think I was just shooting something in color that needs to be in color and it was actually all black and white. Then that's a little bit of a mess. Uh, so there's that. And then I have just typical lenses for the contacts. I have the 80, which is the main lens. And then I also have a 45 if I want to get a wide shot. Then I also have the 140, which is the more telephoto version of that where, and I use all of those all the time, but I typically keep the 80 on there. But since I have two, I only have one 80 lens. And so I usually have something else on the other one. That's that. Belts. This here is the handy dandy spider holster. I have two different lens pouches on there and a fanny pack. So this goes on here. And this is what keeps my medium format cameras on. I got this guy here and this guy here. Nice strap on like that. And then I'm also wearing this, which is the Holdfast Moneymaker and I swear by it. So this guy comes on here and usually at a wedding I'm wearing a full suit. So this is, I wear the jacket over this and it's sort of a concealed weapon situation. These lens pouches actually keep the cameras from banging into these cameras right there. And then I'll have an extra little hand grip there. Um, I would usually have my light, oh, there's my light there. Oh yeah. My light meter goes in here. That's the little pouch that comes with it. So that's just easy to grab whenever I need. And then this, I usually have film in here where I keep 120 in this slot. I keep 35 millimeter in this slot. And then I put exposed film there or I'm handing it off to my assistant. Uh, with an assistant, it's really handy to have an extra back. And then what you'll do, I think the best method is you'll have it like this. It'll be preloaded. And then when I'm done, I'll put the exposed film right here. And then I just grab this slot it right in there and then my assistant will come and load that and have another one filled for me. So they are doing that, but it's an easy way to just sort of get the film, boom, 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 and it's in. Trying to keep shooting as much as I can. Um, good old flash, I'm usually bringing on the reception. I have off camera flashes that I'll set up on stands and that's what the pocket wizard is for. I know the newer cannons and the newer cannon flashes, I don't think you need these pocket wizards anymore, but since I'm mostly shooting film, it's uh, I have a hard time really wanting to update my digital gear. Well, that's that for that. For So for weddings and forged travel, that is a whole different ballgame because I need all of this and then you've got to be able to get it with you. So I'm usually packing my shoulder bag and everything that I need in a duffel bag, all my light stands in a separate bag. I need at least 
I'm basically traveling for like two days in a trip. I'll have like four bags with me, which is a little chaotic. <laughs> what do you mean? Look at all these bags. Isn't that fun? Really shitty. <laughs> these are really handy to have for airport travel so you don't have to hand check all your film. I typically, anything 400 and under, technically you don't have to have it hand checked, but I still like to. If I'm in the States, if I'm in LA especially, they pretty much will, TSA will do what you ask. And so I, it just takes a lot of time and I have to show up to the airport a little earlier, but I generally have all of my film hand checked. When it's in these bags, I will, I think it saves the time. Um, I still hand check 3200 film and 800 speed film, but all my 400 I keep in these bags, just keep it in the backpack, goes through the x-ray. And so far, it's turned out all right. And without Tandy, I have this little guy I got, I typically will keep, but I'll keep a passport, plane tickets, anything that I need for travel in this, and I just have it in my bag with the Tandy. This gives my account on Amazon. I don't even know what you would type in, but, um, Basically, it keeps all of my cables, and then I end up putting a few other things, like my headphones in here, um, anything that I'll need on the flight, so it's not just in a big ball in my bag. Keeps my cables, and then this is a really handy case in my house, just basically a protective case for hard drive. I'll keep one on each side of there. I usually always travel with as many hard drives, I mean, at least two to three hard drives, so when I'm shooting something and then dumping, I have a couple different backups, just in case one gets lost, one gets damaged. I want to make sure that I have that. Okay, well, hopefully that was informative or at least just entertaining to see how wild and crazy the amount of gear that I carry is and sort of like the uh, the old guy that used to wear the photo vests and have all the stuff everywhere. But it is like every everything that I wear or carry has its own purpose. Like I'm using each camera for a certain thing. I'm using the medium formats for more portraits or like just really solid landscape shots. Or if I'm shooting decor and details, I'm shooting each 35 millimeter camera for, you know, action and and stuff that's moving, mostly because I can't really trust my <laughs> my eyes for focus that quickly, and, and it's just faster to shoot and fire, focus and fire. Where the other stuff I'm doing is more manual focus, a little bit slower, but I, I still love that. But yeah, so that's what I carry. Hopefully that's helpful. If you like this, subscribe below. Going to be having a new tutorial Tuesday every Tuesday, and then we're also doing more stuff for the vlog. I've got a lot of things coming up that we've been filming. It's going to be posting soon, but yeah, hope to see you. Subscribe below, tell a friend, and see you on the next Tuesday. All right, bye.